Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you a handy tool that literally allows you to change anything within the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild using CMU Emulator. Okay, this tool can do some things that we have seen in the past, so I am not going to dwell on them for too long. You can change things like alter your health on the fly, alter your stamina on the fly, lock and unlock your health so you can set them both to infinite. You can change your rupee amounts. You can change your Kilton coins and you can also increase your max health and your max stamina. Moving over to the equipment tab, we can do such things as changing the durability, modifiers, bonus types and sizes of our weapons. Let's go to our sword and change the size of it for example. We're going to change the size of our master sword. Simply come over here and let's set this value to 2 to double the size of our weapon. Once we have this done, you can see that our Master Sword is now twice the size it normally is. It also has a footprint of twice the size as well, meaning that you can actually strike people at the range of the resized weapon. You can also lock the Master Sword, as you can see here, to its glowing, powered up state using this tool. Moving over to the Powers tab, we get control over things like cooldown and active timers on your stasis, bomb cooldowns and as you can see here we have control to give us unlimited block usage with cryonis when we turn it on we can now create unlimited blocks using the cryonis rune we can also unlimit our amiibo usage using this tool like we have seen with others it is however over in this location tab that we see some of the most beneficial tools for the user we can adjust the camera distance to the character, adjust minimum and maximum differences, and also adjust things like FOV, static FOV, turn speed, which is the turn speed of the camera like you can see me doing right now, and we can also set the camera Y static offset. This will adjust the camera up and down to suit your needs. Another handy tool is the ability to on the fly change the aspect ratio. This tool will be very useful to people with non-standard 69 aspect ratio monitors as it allows them to on the fly change their aspect ratio. Moving over into the physics part of this, we can change Link's movement speed as you can see here. Speed 1, 2 and 3 basically do the same thing. We can change the weight of the main character, making him heavier or lighter. We can change the character turn speed, changing it from a wider to a shorter arc. It must be noted that changing it to a wider arc is slightly buggy at the minute and does not seem to work. Let's set this back to stock. You can change such things as gravity. The stock gravity in game is minus 29. If I jump here, you will see that I am jumping slightly higher than I should be. Let's add this now again and change it to a different value. Let's try minus 5. As you can see, the gravity has slightly changed. We can also change apply gravity and jump duration. Changing jump duration to a negative figure gives us some very strange effects indeed. As you can see, Link takes off into the stratosphere. You can also change such things as a mid-air boost along the x-axis, giving us a higher jump. And you can also change mid-air boost along the z-axis. As of yet, there is no mid-air boost along the y-axis, but this should not matter as it will only give us lateral movement. Moving over into the dimensions tab, we can really do some things to mess with the game. As you can see, I have increased Link's height. Most of these adjustments are adjustments to the character model along their X and Y axis, so in order for them to work properly, they need to be tuned. 
As you can see, when they are not fully tuned, they kind of make the game run like crazy. Let's try and mess with it and see what we can achieve. And there we go, we now have an in-game Link Paper Mario version. Moving over into the Worlds tab, these are also some very interesting tools for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild CMU users. We can unlock and lock the game time, and change said game time to choose our own specific needs. You can also do such things as, let's say for example, if you have a Blood Moon, you can lock the time so your game will always be in a Blood Moon state. What I tend to do is, I find a time of day I like, and lock my time to that said time. We can also do such things as adjust cloud amounts in the sky. As you can see me doing here, I am reducing and increasing the amount of clouds present in the sky. We can also take control over the weather modifiers. In this tool, weather modifier 1 controls the rain on a scale of 0 to 4, weather modifier 2 controls the wind on a scale of 0 to 8, and weather modifier 3 changes the fog density on a scale also of 0 to 8. You can lock and unlock these to suit your needs. For example, let's say you want no rain, no fog and no wind. All you need to do is set all these to 0 and click the little lock icon. We also have control over the in-game lightning, although at the minute we do not have control over where exactly it hits. Moving on to the final tab, the fun stuff, we get some control over body disconnect functions. These tools are fun to play with, although in my opinion they have limited use. We also get control over camera shake on the X and Y axis. Also, these tools have limited use as all they do is apply a pan to the camera. Cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like it if you like it, and dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.